set of axes below graph the following system. So it's interesting that these systems are typically pretty easy to draw by hand. So it's good practice for us. Here they're giving us the equations in y equals mx plus b form. And notice that um, our, our y intercepts are both positive, positive 1 and positive 4. That might make our life nice and easy here, I hope. So let's graph this first one in red, right? y is less than 2x plus 1, so plus 1. That means our y intercepts there. 2x, well, 2 is a slope, up to over 1, right? So these points right here. I, only, I know that I only need, only need two of these points, but sometimes it's really hard to graph these by hand with a tablet, so I want to be as accurate as possible. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's for y is less than 2x plus 1, but let me just, oops, I'll put a dashed line in there. Because it's less than um, 2x plus 1, right? That just means that you can't include the line itself. Sorry, so this is not easy to draw these dashed lines by hand for me. Okay, so everything less than or equal to this line. So it's this whole region here, right? And we'll color code. Color coding is surprisingly helpful in these kind of problems. Okay, so next, um, we use purple. Y is greater than or equal to negative 1 third x plus 4. So now it starts up at 1, 2, 3, 4, here, right? And it's negative 1 third x, so that means down 1 over 3, right? So down 1, 1, 2, 3. Do it again to be accurate, and again, all right. So now we can just draw the line through these points, pretty accurate. Nope. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. So they're just saying here that y is greater than or equal to this. So it could be anything up here. And the solutions, right, for this system is all in this region here where the two lines intersect. So you can pick any point there and, and you're okay. So let's pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can pick any point you want, but if we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we'll go both. Here, this point, 5, 5, is in both. And if you're not really sure, you can grab some like calculator, which I'll show you. But also you can plug 5 into both of these, and the equations, the inequalities will be correct. If we plug in the first one, we get 2 times 5 plus 1. And that's 11, which is greater than the y value of this point, 5. So that's, that's okay. The second one, you can also plug in. Plug in x for 5. Negative 1 third times 5 is negative 5 thirds. Plus 4, so that's 12 thirds. Altogether, that would be 7 thirds. Is that greater than or equal to, to less than or equal to 5, right? The y value of this point. Yes, 7 thirds is about 2 and a third. It's 2 and a third, excuse me, which is less than or equal to 5. So it does check out both. So this point, you can plug it into both equations. Here, um, so clear this off. When you enter this in, first y is less than 2x plus 1, so 2x plus 1. I already have it shaded, but I'll show you how I got that. If you go all the way to the left here, you want to pick the graph that's shaded below because this, in this case, y is less than right, the line itself. So they have the upper region shaded and the lower region, you pick the lower region. Here in the next one, I'll pick the upper region because y is greater than or equal to. Although I don't think this calculator can distinguish between greater than or greater than or equal to. Next we have negative one third, which I'll enter as a fraction, negative one divided by three, x, and then plus four, enter, and graph. All right, so this will graph both for you, and if you find, oops, if you find x equals five, you can scroll over, if you want, oops, so about here, and then up five, you can see that it is clearly in the region for both. All right, let's keep going.